Alright, so today we're gonna be doing a Blade Fury flag build. I, that's right, I've chosen the worst character for the Blade Fury. You might ask, how to flag the worst character with the Blade Fury? Well, that's because the Face Puncher just completely destroys the Blade Fury in performance on flag because of the tag bot interaction with the Face Puncher. But I've been cooking something up with... <laughs> I've, been <laughs> I've been cooking a month ago and I've cooked up this, a Blade Fury flag with corrosive damage and a bounty hunter. So let's do it. For the gear, we've got a quadruple Blade Fury with the while terrified gain 75% bonus cryo damage. All of, all of them are full auto. We have a old god with triple absorb, a corrosive old god with ASC radiation for red explosions. We have a bounty hunter with plus two hunter's eye and then plus three the most dangerous game. This is gonna give us way more damage. And then for the passive we have splash damage, weapon mag size and weapon or or melee damage. Corrosive stone static charge. This is our main source of corrosive damage. So we can have this boosted by the bounty hunter and the old god. And we have double melee damage and area of effect damage. And then we also have many more static charges like a radiation static charge or radiation stone with the same passes and then also a snow drift st static charge with double movement speed area of effect damage a fire stone with melee damage double melee damage and area of effect damage a low level plumage for rocket jumping and then a schluter with double melee damage area of effect damage and then a low level piss with the on action skill and apply terror to itself every 3 seconds and that's it for the gear so let's get to the skill tree for green tree, we're doing five, uh, 5 out of 5 on furious attack for bonus damage when our shooting when we're shooting enemies. And then 5 out of 5 on eager to impress for cooldown. This is like mainly your standard flag gun build, except it's a bit more... I mean, there are some tweaks here and there. 5 out of 5 on overclock for bonus fire rate. And then for even more fire rate after reloading. Lick the wounds, this is a no-brainer when you're doing a flag. Because if there are no enemies around and your pet can you revive you with this. I was gonna make another example when you don't have Lick the Wounds picked, but I've just decided to go with when you have Lick the Wounds. Turn tail and run for weapon damage when it was turning still, which doesn't really happen. You could definitely just take out these points from here and put two into hidden machine and then the three into raid joint cover which I'm gonna do now. Right, so the so I've I've spec'd out from turn tail and run and put the punch into hidden machine and then one point into raid joint recover and also yeah. Let's get back to the skill tree and we're doing fast and the furious for gun damage and pet damage and movement speed and all that stuff. And then the power inside for more damage when we activate our action skill at full health. And we're doing Fade Away with Not My Circus and Until You're Dead. Nothing in purple and for Blue Tree we're doing 2 out of 5 on Ferocity to spec down the skill tree because this doesn't matter and Persistent Hunter is always nice. It's always free gun damage but even though we were only shooting the Fade Away 3 times because this is a 3 shot fade setup, gun damage is always nice and we need to spec down the skill tree anyway. 1 out of 5 on who rescued who for if we're doing damage then basically our pet never dies with this 3 out of 3 on he bites so that pe pet can uh, increase the damage reflected f of pet and then 5 out of 5 on frenzy for more damage when pet dealing damage I still don't know if this is v1 and then psycho head on a stick for pet movement speed when we're down and there's nobody around, then we can get a second wind faster from Pet because he can run up to us faster. 5 out of 5 on Barbaric Yop for uh, pet damage, or not pet damage, uh, pet bonuses. Granite to flag so we get more elemental damage from our pet. 3 out of 3 on pack tactics for V1 damage. It's always nice. Yeah, this is like a change of pace. 
yeah, you, you can see we're not doing a Megavore in Orange Tree. Four out of five on Interplanetary Stalker for bonus damage, and with the Bounty Hunter, we get actually bonus corrosive damage with this. But we disable the movement speed bonus we get from this. I've seen somebody scroll down on this skill, I don't remember how they've done it. Uh, it might be just, you know, they're, they're somehow cheating, I don't know. Leave no trace for getting ammo back on crits. 2 out of 5 on second intention to spec down the skill tree. We're not reloading, I mean, pretty sure normal players are gonna reload normally anyway, but since I'm so used to swap reloading, then I don't need this, because I can just, you know, quickly swap out and swap back. Hunter's Eye for crit damage and bonus damage on armor when we're fighting robots and humans. Big game for double the hunter skill duration and stronger effects. The most dangerous game for bonus gun damage and crit damage. And for a pet we're doing Spider and Scorcher for bonus elemental damage. So let's do the true Malawan takedown as always with the Blade Fury which has the Brainstormer skin except darker. Yes, believe it or not, you can have so basically the Thunderbird or not Thunderbird, uh, Thunderhead skin. You might think that it's the same as the Brainstormer or the Storm. It's actually a bit darker, believe it or not. It's slightly darker than the Brainstormer's original color. I thought true take down setup, pull a switch, open door. And proceed. Pop fade. Try to get the guy on the turret. You can see that we already have pretty good damage. We can just speed run this. <laughs> These dogs have died in one shot, by the way. Also, I'm already irradiated. What a great takedown. Yep, this is this is about what I expect from true mal one takedown. Yeah, like why? Why is this takedown so garbage? I know I'm renting again, but gosh damn. Is the door open yet? No. Can you open door for me? Just open door. I've already ki killed enough enemies. There we go. We'll just proceed to Kraken. There we go. That was fast. You see, I swap reload really consistently now. And I love that. So... Let me try to hit the... Oh, there we go. We have more terror, or like we're keeping up our terror. I've somehow not... I've not uh, pulled down the elevator somehow. I'm pretty sure I have already, but... Maybe it's just going foggy again. So how, how fast can you do it? We'll probably not do the... Keep anyway. Yup. And it will not probably clear this instantly. Cause I can't my my static charge chain RNG has been pretty bad recently. What? Hello, stop reloading? Why has it fucked up? Come on. So throw piss. Maybe get a lucky static charge chain to happen, but it's now for Hilder. Jeez, that's some damage. A duke. We could use a bit more splash radius, but I kinda wanna have some mag size from the artifact. 
Now they're gonna spawn, yeah, over here, I was gonna say. Oh, fade! Come on, fade! Come on, fade! There we go, and... Red card recharger, and the red card recharger. Yay. Incredible. Double red card recharger. Right, how far can we stand here? Not far. We'll do the bot dazzle skin blade theory for this part. Maybe it will give me more RNG for static charge chains. Yeah, by the way, on the card here it says that you need to slide to build up the static charge. You don't even need to do that. You can basically just do nothing. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you slide then you get more damage on the chains. It's just that you have just free shock damage on melee attacks when you're wearing the artifact. Cryo heavy, immune, more like not. Not at all, gamer. I've missed all of those shots. Got blade field projectiles are slow. What? I'll get some. Uh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say that I'll I'll I'll, foot. I'll somehow get rolled by that bad of trooper, even though they're they're dead. Okay, you can see that. You can see the static charge chain happening. But now I can't even hit the guy because he's behind the cover because he, he... Okay, I'm not gonna say. I pop the action skill because I've not popped it in a while. Because I don't have terror. Now I have. Maybe I should maybe I should have gone with a mesmer instead of piss. I'm not even really throwing it that much. That's my bad. But yes, you can do low level mesmer. If you don't want enemies just shooting you 24-7 and going down 24-7. Oh that was a beautiful explosion, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a beautiful explosion. Just I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna just shoot it in the air like that, the blade sphere, I mean. Maybe it'll hit somehow the death spheres. Pop action skill. Also, don't think that enemies can't see you while and fight away, they can still see you, shoot you, aggro on you, try bolt. Oh, beautiful static charge chain. I've not had a beautiful static charge chain like that in a good few months. I don't remember the last time I've speedrun something with Rackstab Flag. Wait, it was like a month ago for the first anniversary of my first speedrun. Or at, least, or at least on the first time trial speedrun. Because, uh. I've done a speedrun of. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember if it, if it, if it was scale model 1 takedown or if it was true model 1 takedown. But I've done a speedrun on Zane. On a Blaze Fury Zane build, like early August 2022. And I've had a 5-5 five five run. So that's like... We don't really consider that one to be really a speedrun. The first true speedrun. Aka the time trial speedruns. 
No mobs for you, Wotan. Can I somehow do the... No, he wasn't low enough anyway. <laughs> he can't even spawn mobs. <laughs> like, can I somehow do this? No. Hold on, get the better half first, because he's gonna annoy me. That was a really smooth Wotan fight. This is probably the most smooth <laughs> Wotan fight on a build video. This has gone by so fast. Tick's Boom, Jackhammer, Rowan's Call, Moonfire, Tick's Boom. So anyway, see you tomorrow with a non revolter farming video. I have something special, something about even not BO3. It's gonna be a really cool video. Bye bye.